defensive edge, a tough guy. Dergeau would be perfect for that role. Aldridge coming up short, but able to get to the rebound and hits. Terry Stotts, the head coach of the Blazers earlier, trying to control the minutes as Howard had that shot altered by, by Lopez. 11 straight games. Aldridge. All ball style, but Portland is kind of old school, a little bit like the Indiana Pacers. They like to post up their big man and then play inside out that way. It's kind of step back by Aldridge to free himself up from Howard. On him, uh, did pick up three fouls, but for the most part, Houston mixed and matched. You see Howard forcing the long jump shot here. Here's Jones forcing the fadeaway. That's a shot Aldridge can hit, but now comes the double team. Garcia and Howard forcing another one, so they just have not allowed any easy baskets for Aldridge. And a look at the autotrader.com player. Blazers 18 and 4 coming into tonight. Best start in Portland's franchise history through 22 games. Here's Aldridge able to knock it down him straight away, and the Blazers take the two. Finds the open man. Matthews for three. You know, there's a mix up here more, but body language is important in this league. You gotta you gotta be able to play through these kinds of plays. Every once in a while something's gonna happen, but you see Howard and Parsons staring at each other, the argument. These are the kinds of going in the third. Stretch here by the Blazers after trailing Houston late second quarter. And at the half, Aldridge. Yes, oh, he's got the touchback. Well, Terry Stotts ran that first play of the half. Quick release from Batum. Back tap. Matthews off the screen for three. Kept alive by Aldridge. Aldridge scores in the foul. Well, this is something Portland really did not have a year ago, an offensive rebounding presence. But they play big all the time now. Lopez, Aldridge, Freeland, they like to stay big. And that allows them to get those long arm guys around the hoop. They've got 11 offensive boards here. The double, nice ball movement here. Matthews pops it back out. Aldridge right away, yes. Swing. You end up with a good shot, but more importantly, you end up with rhythm and confidence. And this picks up the entire arena. The crowd loves it. The team loves it. Timeout. Fouls on Lopez, his second. Marcus Aldridge, after that slow first half, has really got himself into the game. Played on Sunday, victory against Orlando. They have three days off. This is Aldridge. He is on. I don't know, Steve, Dwight Howard has been on fire at the uh, free throw line. He's 4-6 to this point. Aldridge draws the foul, gets it away. Yes, and it counts. Put the fake on Patrick Beverly. This hack, and he'll go to the line looking for a three-point play. Well, Marv Aldridge continues his hot shooting, and I think this is a really key stretch in this game. Dwight Howard goes to the bench. Houston is very vulnerable now defensively inside, and with Aldridge really cooking. Uh, it was a slow start for LaMarcus Aldridge. He was one for eight in the second quarter, and since then he's made nine of his last 10 shots. Look at these numbers, 25 points, 20 boards. He's done it in a number of ways, offensive rebounding, a couple post-ups, some jump shots, getting to the foul line. Marcus Aldridge just having a monster night. A lot of the isos and things that Dallas loved to do for Nowitzki. Well, Marcus is much more of a pick and pop player, and he said that they kind of got back to some of the. Hold off all the shooting numbers for Portland this year. Many of these field goals coming from the outside, and we. Aldridge played by Jones with help. Aldridge off the puck fake. They want to go, Ted. Let's see if they get it. Foul is called. The basket counts. He gets the call on the goal tab. Well, I'm surprised here. I thought given the free throws at the other end, Houston had time to set up their defense. I thought Dwight Howard would guard Aldridge. He's the much better option down the stretch than the young Jones. So Aldridge takes advantage, gets the pumping, and then Howard compounds the problem. 
You started out one of eight from the floor, LaMarcus. <laughs> how, do you, you, how do you get the impetus to continue shooting when you start that poorly? Just watch film over there on the bench. Uh, I was rushing my shots. You know, it was coming too easy. I was trying to go too fast. You know, the second quarter, I just slowed down. You have said that this is the best team that, that you've had since you've, you've been in the league. When you have the depth that you have on the bench, what is that allowing you to do to get to your game? It's just keeping guys honest, you know. Uh, Mo got going tonight, and then I had one-on-one -on -one play down low. Wes made big shots. Uh, D. Wright made big shots. So all those guys making shots, you know. That's good for me out there. It's a great debate about your team. Charles Barkley has said and said tonight that while he thinks you're a good team, he's not sure a team that shoots jump shots can make it to the finals or do damage in the playoffs. What do you say to that? Charles talks trash about everybody. You know, I mean, our team is winning right now. It's still early, you know. I think tonight it was big because, you know, we didn't, you know, make shots in the first half, but our defense was good for us. See you at the reunion. All right, thanks. All right. <laughs> Back to you, Marvin. All right, David, an extraordinary <laughs> performance. By LaMarcus Aldridge, 31 and 25. The Blazers go to 19 and 4. Always exciting night here at this building in, in Portland. Thanks to producer Tom Heights, director Renato Lowe, associate director Steve Daly and Billy Proctor, production assistants Donzel Floyd and Jason Ingram, and statistician Paul Evans. In the final, Portland 111 and Houston 104 coming up inside the NBA presented by Kia. So for Steve Kerr, David Aldridge, and the rest of the crew, I'm Marv Albert saying good night from the Pacific Northwest. You've been watching the NBA on TNT. Now we'll send it to Ernie Johnson in our Atlanta studio. Ernie.